we have entered into a new era of visual display technology. So let's begin and take a look at some of the most amazing displays being built right now. At number 5, the NTT Tacoma Spherical Display. If you want to build a clever imitation of a flying UFO spaceship, then look no further. One of the first flying 3D displays is composed of a spherical display enclosed around a quadcopter. The display itself is made of LED strips, which rotate horizontally and thereby creates a formidable visual effect, which mimics a real flying hologram. But I think the neatest thing is that the propellers do not have any effect on the image quality. Tacoma plans to commercialize the drone for event venues and marketing, but I think that there will be a substantial increase in UFO sightings. At number 4, the Nolagram. A French artist has found a way to dish the 3D glasses and has come up with a clever way to display 3D images through video projection. So technically, this is not a holographic device. The Nolagram uses a motion camera to detect where the viewer is, and then it adjusts the projection on a screen to create a very convincing holographic illusion. The only drawback is that it only works for one user, but the creator is also working on other projection methods for multiple viewers. At number 3, the Hypervision. A London-based startup company has come up with a product which displays 3D visuals with full color, depth, and controllability. So once again, the Hyper-VSN is not technically a hologram device, and it's a projection technology which uses clear LEDs on a moving screen to give full visual displays. So basically, there is a propeller screen which rotates, and the onboard processors and sensors pick up the angle, speed, and position of each of the LEDs. The LEDs then create the illusion of an object hovering in mid-air. The Hyper-VSN is directed towards retail business and advertising, so it's not really meant for personal use. At number 2, the Holixica Dynamic Display. We have seen a few methods which present clever imitations of holograms, but they are far from being the real thing. Holixica has come up with a different approach and has produced several generations of displays which can project pixels in 3D space, which are commonly known as voxels. The images are constructed using diffractive optics in mid-air with no projection surface, so the holograms are truly holograms this time. So right now, the current displays seem a little bit simplistic, but they are working on a third generation device which will display millions of voxels and it could be completely revolutionary. Helixica has a proven track record and has been building holographic devices for over many years. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens when they unveil their third generation device. A hologram is a 3D image typically formed by a light source. And unfortunately, there are only a few true holographic displays in existence so far. But what if you can make a 3D image using something other than light? Ironically, one solution came from a creative device for one advertisement. Gatorade's liquid printer is actually not a new concept, but its ability to pull off 3D visuals using water was completely spectacular. The water printer is composed of over 2,000 nozzles which can be turned off and on within milliseconds, allowing for frame-by-frame -frame animation. The cost for building such a device was probably astronomical, but it just shows how marketing can bring out some really crazy ideas. But let's just stick to water and stay away from liquid metal and computer chips. At number 1, the Plasma Holographic Display, commonly known as the Fairy Lights. There's yet another device which can create voxels in 3D space. The holographic device uses femtosecond lasers so that the user can interact with the images and they're safe to touch. It creates these holograms by ionizing air molecules and turning them into plasma. So with the manipulation of voxels we can finally have true holographic devices. But it looks like it'll be a while yet until we can make a real holodeck. But having said that, we have made a substantial step towards 3D holographic display technology. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel.